Cutting threads is a common operation on a lathe, whether it's a feature on a part or used for fixturing. And basically any lathe with a lead screw can single point turn every common thread size. But changing the gears to achieve the desired thread pitch takes time. So a much quicker way for standard sizes is using a threading die. But without a proper guide the threads can become crooked. Not good. So a couple of years back already I 3D printed a die holder for the tailstock which worked great. But when I recently attempted an M8 thread it broke. It was always meant as a proof of concept that ended up working for years. But now it's time to replace it with a much better one. For the nice big knurl the handle is still a 3D print but bigger and more massive and the business end is now all steel. So let me show you how I made this and what it can do. The core piece is this solid 3D printed handle and I reinforced it even more with steel rods through the whole length. I printed all surfaces with about 1mm extra material to turn them into precise dimensions. The most important one for now is the long hole in the handle that fits the tailstock or the most taper extension. Oh nice! Next I made the die holders from steel. I first turned the outer diameter to a nice fit with the handle and then drilled and turned the inner holes that fit the dies. The small sizes I could turn on both sides of the steel blank, then cut it in half and face the other side to thickness. Next I need to make threaded holes in the edge to hold the die with some set screws and to do that accurately I made a 3D printed jig. In these holes fits a drill bushing which should guide the drill bit nice and straight. I put that in a vise and the jig aligns the bushing perpendicular. Then I find the center of the bushing with the drill bit and start the hole. Once the hole is properly started I can finish it without the bushing. Then without moving the piece I switch to the tab to cut the threads. Then it's copy paste for the remaining holes. After that I use a bigger bushing to drill and tap M8 threads for some handles later. The last use of the jig is to transfer the mounting holes which I then drill and counter bore for socket head bolts. Every edge also got a chamfer and then I can test the assembly. The conical tipped set screws automatically align the die and since I also put the holes slightly below the die center they also press them firmly into the holder. And after some more time I got all of them finished. The handle receives some nuts and then I can bolt the parts together. That looks good. So time for testing. You can cut threads with just a knurled grip and install two handles when you need more torque. But of course I won't be using hex bolts as handles so let's make some proper ones. The perfect first use of this tool. I faced some stock and turned to the thread diameter with a little relief cut at the end plus a chamfer. With a drop of oil I could start the M8 threads with just a grip and once I had a good bite switch to the handles. A spindle lock would be neat to have but like this most of the load goes into the steel die holder and not the 3D print so it shouldn't break again. And that's a nice result. There are only about 3 full threads because it needs to fit the biggest holder but I think that's fine. Then I polished up the shaft, cut it to length and felt a radius to the end. Much better than bolts. A nice box is the last piece to make for a successful tool build and I have some pretty straight pieces of ash firewood suitable for the low amount of material needed. Once glued up I put it on the CNC router and let it do some magic. And of course I couldn't resist putting my logo on the lid. But the star of the show probably is the wooden hinge. I actually turned and drilled the dowels on the lathe for high precision, then cut the matching half round on the router table and every other hinge piece gets glued to the box and the lid. What a smooth motion, nice. And the hinge can be cut flush to the rest making its appearance even more special.
Inside are some 3D printed inserts that perfectly fit the individual parts of the tool. I thought about 3D carving the shapes into the wood, but printing them was simpler by a magnitude. And there they are finished. It just now occurred to me that I basically built very beefy regular thread die holders that also perfectly work with the lathe. It's a simple tool, but using them is very satisfying, they feel solid and will serve me for many years to come. If you want to replicate this for yourself, you can download the print file for the handle and the 3D file plus drawings for the holder and everything else, so also the box, the inserts, everything for free in the video description. Check that out. And I now go to work because I needed this for my next project. I hope to see you there.